Hurricane Irma reached its peak on September 6th as a Category 5 hurricane with 185 miles per hour winds, making it the second strongest Atlantic hurricane by wind speed. Irma sustained these winds for 37 hours, becoming the only tropical cyclone worldwide to have held this wind speed for this length of time. Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency for Florida. Schools and colleges were closed in 44 of the state's 67 counties. Mandatory evacuation orders were in place for the Florida Keys. The mayor of Fort Lauderdale ordered mandatory evacuations for all residents living east of U.S. Highway 1. The city of Tampa declared a local state of emergency. By the evening of September 8th, hundreds of thousands of Floridians had evacuated, making it the largest evacuation in the state's history. On September 10th at 9.10 a.m., Hurricane Irma made landfall on Kudjo Key in the Florida Keys as a Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. By that afternoon, Irma had created a 10-foot storm surge. According to state officials, by September 12th, almost 4.4 million homes and businesses in Florida were without power. FEMA's initial estimate indicated that 25% of the buildings in the Florida Keys were destroyed and 65% were significantly damaged. Since 1994, Florida manufactured homes have been built to tough new standards. The state is divided into two categories, Wind Zone 2 and Wind Zone 3. Both the Florida Keys and Naples are in the most stringent area, Zone 3. Every new manufactured home built for this area since 1994 must meet HUD's strictest guidelines. All manufactured homes installed to Rule 15C, adapted in 1999, must meet the most stringent tie-down requirement in the country. All modular homes built since the 2010 Florida State Building Code for the Florida Keys must be engineered to withstand 180 miles per hour. Are these codes strong enough? Let's hear from some Jacobson home residents whose homes endured Hurricane Irma. My name is Dave Coldy. It's my wife, Mary Jo. Uh, we fell in love with the Jacobson homes because so many people in the park have them and uh, they are they're attractive, they're functional, and they, they seem to hold up very well. Hi, I'm Lynn Funk, and my husband Jack and I live in Mariner's Cove Manufactured Home Community. And we bought in here, oh, probably in 2000, and we wanted to have a good, sturdy home. My name is Grace Stringer, and uh, I've lived in this particular lovely house for two years now. And I've been very pleased with it. I find so many nice little touches in it that the Jacobsons have gone ahead and done. And we're the Clapperties, we're from Maryland. This is Chris and I'm Scott. And we purchased this manufactured home through, from Jacobson. And we are thoroughly enjoyed with the, the neighborhood, the community, and the product. Hurricane Irma hit us on uh, September 10th. And uh, we evacuated uh, and headed north. We, of course, had a major, major hurricane with, with Irma coming through here. And I, we, we were asked to evacuate and we did close the house up and we walked away. Right here it was 92 miles an hour and peaked at like 120. We waited until Saturday to get back down here and we were amazed at the lack of damage to the house. I, I felt good about this house though. When I came back, there it was. Yeah, it was a Category 4 it hit here and I had minimal, I mean $19 worth of repairs and that was to the fence, not to the home. We didn't have any damage to our home. The manufactured home was flawless. And it was, it was such a joy and, and a thankful blessing to come home and see everything intact. And when I came back, I was very pleased to find everything was intact. There wasn't even a water stain anywhere in the house. The house is in perfect shape. And we're forever grateful that we chose Jacobson. And then, all of a sudden, yeah, a day later, they files you know, away and we look at this. You say, wow, what a safe home. And it held you know, out. They really did hold up and they, yeah. they did improve our opinion of the safety of the home and it confirmed that they really were built to standards. We were extremely thankful 
um, to the, the, the quality of, obviously, in the, in the integrity of the homes that Jacobson built. So we have a lot to be grateful for, for, for the quality and, and, and workmanship that's been put into them. After the fact, my husband got on the internet site and looked at how they build these homes. And he said, Lynn, we don't have anything to worry about. He said, they're, they're built great. The way it was built and the way circumstances happened, it, it survived flawlessly. That's all I can say. People come to my home, especially the neighbors, they watch it being built. And when, they, when they do come in, oh, they say, I love this house. I love this house. And that's a big compliment. I often have heard people say that when you go into someone's home or RV, the first thing you ask them is what would they change, not what they like about it. And I wouldn't change anything.